How's it going guys? We are back at it again with another deck highlight video and today we're looking at a Vagar Senna deck. So Vagar Senna is potentially going to be one of the strongest late game decks uh, if, if you can eventually get the late game. And the reason being just like Vagar in League of Legends and just kind of like Senna in League of Legends, uh, they scale guys. They scale into the late game. So primarily what we want to do is you want to try and get Vagar down turn 4, turn 5 and uh each turn, the darkness is going to get bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So whenever we do play it, we're going to be doing some serious damage. So what I want to try and do in one of these games, or I don't know how many games I'll play, but when I upload this video, hopefully I can showcase it. I want Vagar to become so strong late game that I can potentially one-shot the Nexus with a darkness. So that's what I want to do. I want to be able to just go, boom, darkness dead. Uh, the way it works also, guys, whenever Vagar levels up, um, you can use the darkness on the Nexus, not just on followers or champions. So that's why it becomes so unbelievably strong. So I, as you can imagine, uh, again, late game, maybe turn 9, 10, you're going to be potentially pumping out 9, 10 uh, Nexus damage with a single darkness. So it's kind of like GG well played if Vagar still in the field and leveled up lately at the end of the game. So, and as always, guys, if you enjoy the videos, if you learn anything from them, I'd appreciate it if you help me hit 10k subs. We're so close. We're, we're nearly at 7k. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, so, the way you level up Vagar as well is very, very easy. You literally just use darkness. You do damage with your darkness. So, and then a lot of the follower cards in this deck help reduce the cost of a darkness or increase the damage of a darkness or essentially give you a darkness. So, this deck is all about... Darkness. <laughs> so, yeah. But I feel like this expansion, there's just so many more unique ways to play the game. Gone are the days where it was just, you know, a Noxian, I Noxious, Ionia, um, Piltover, you know. Bring back my man Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger has not had any love. I have not seen a good Heimerdinger deck in forever. But now that there's more kind of Yordles and stuff into the mix, we can maybe see like a spicy iteration of a Heimer deck in the next few days. We'll get Vagar done next turn. Tsunami and Shelly on the field, right? Work so unbelievably well together. I actually played them together, I think, in my most recent video, in my Nami video. And the reason being is they literally just keep buffing each other up to like crazy levels so as long as you have spells in your hand you're gonna be pumping out and making these two two cards just unbelievably strong late game but i have vengeance and they have no way of defending against my vengeance because they're playing a frill yord bilgewater deck so you know they don't have any counter spell oh ah We'll play Vagar. We need we need to get him down. The fact that it's turn six, you haven't played him yet, it's kinda crazy. Also attack. See if he'll defend with any of them or use any spells. He didn't. I was expecting maybe like a I don't know, brittle steel, flash freeze there. Let's see. Fury of the North as well. For the protection. So we're going to do three damage to his five. No, we're not. Is he going to Fury of the North? Fury of the North. He is going to Fury of the North. Okay. I feel like that was super inefficient of him though. Because now he has three cards. In his hand and nothing else. He's probably being super reliant. On me not being able to defend against his elusive. But I've got a, a Shadow Owl's deck, and a Shadow Owl's deck always has at least one Vengeance in it to stop, you know, one card becoming an absolute behemoth. We also have Senna as well. If you have Senna on the field, and then you have a Senna in the hand, her, um, her ability is actually a 7 cost Vengeance, but it reduces the power of anybody else in the field on the enemy team um, by 2. So that's kind of like a buffed up vengeance as well. It's kind of it's kind of sick. This guy, 
This guy's like, ha ha, I've won the game. I'm like, nope, Uno reverse, dude. Uno reverse. Vengeance, goodbye. Goodbye, sweet prince. Bada bing, bada boom. Dark bulb acolyte. Having these dark bulb acolytes Stein are so good as well because obviously every time I've played one, I've gotten a free darkness into my hand, which has helped level up Vagar. And um, obviously every time that I use a darkness because they're augmented, they become even stronger again. So I'm feeling there could be another iteration of like a Victor deck with this kind of mixed in it, like a Victor Vagar deck. Hmm. Um, there's no point in playing Death and Ada right now, so we'll go for a Darkness on Nami. Even if she protects herself, Vagar's going to level up. Vagar level up is sick, by the way. Hi, Mizen. Is this? He, he, he's in a giant mech. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, wait, I do, I, why did they not bring this to the League? Why is Vagar not in a mech in League of Legends? Come on. We got Rumble has a mech. Heimer really should have a mech. And Vagar now has a mech. We need like some kind of like mech wars. Jeez. We need Transformers. Oh, he's dropping another Nami. Okay. Um, Solaris. Solaris Sentinel. We'll have a Darkness, but we can't use it this turn. It doesn't matter because we're just going full full throttle attack. I feel like we've won this game. There's no, I don't think there's anything this guy can do. Because of just how beefy my my augmented cards are. Bum, bum, bum. But guys, also comment below and let me know what you feel is going to be the strongest champion in lore with this release. At first, I was like Caitlyn. Now I think Vagar. A couple of games ago, I was like Sion's pretty good too. I haven't played a, a Ziggs deck yet, but any anytime I've played against it, it's been trash. But Maybe I just haven't played a, a good Zig stack yet. I can do six damage damage right now to his Nexus. Oh! If we play if we play it's X Tally Sentinel, we can do double damage to the Nexus now. Because whenever you cast Darkness. It instantly casts the same amount of damage to the Nexus. So if I cast it to the Nexus, it's going to cast it to the Nexus twice. So we instantly win this game, I think. There we go. We can... Ah, sur Why do people not just let me play the card every time? Every time. I think I've gotten to see the Nexus explode like once over my last like 20 games. Ah, right. We'll play another one and I'll hopefully showcase me getting like 10 damage on the Nexus with Vagar and maybe Santa as well. So this deck we're playing against a Teemo deck and Teemo right now is becoming ridiculous. It seems to be every single deck that I play against or every other deck. What? What? What are the chances that I freaking pull uh, the two shrimps in my second turn? Oh yeah, so what I was saying, I keep playing against a lot of Teemo decks, Teemo, Kaelin decks, yada yada, they're becoming exceptionally strong. Um, but they're not that terrible to, to play against um, as a Shadow Elves Bandle City deck. So that's Santa Vagar. You know, we have a little bit of regen. We can kind of take out Teemo if we want, when we want. Oh, jeez. Please give me a Wither and Wheel. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is good. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad at all, actually. So... He just made our Darkness stronger. So Darkness, you don't always have to have Vagar on the field. You can have this little beefy man attacking and striking and making your Darkness even bigger and better. So... 
I could play Darkness right now and get rid of Teemo, but I'm afraid that he'll have something to counter it. I'll play Vagar. I'm probably going to take another... Yeah, another batch of shrooms to the deck. But... You know, I feel like if I play my Darkness, he's probably going to counter it. This is... This is a... Uh, this is tight. <laughs> I don't like the way there's so many cards in the field. Oh, well, we can file feast Teemo. Oh, no. Well... File feast her. Darkness is going to become even bigger again. Boom. Okay, okay. Not terrible. Well, Darkness, Teemo, because he might be... Okay, overkill on Teemo, but it does matter. It's fine. I'd rather do that than him, like, protect him, turn him into a 3-3 or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If he attacks with his three one, I'll defend with my one one, of course. It's gonna be pretty tight because he has so many cards in the field, really. Unless I get a withering wheel or some kind of AoE, it's gonna be dicey. Dicey dicey. Okay, not terrible. We do have life seal, so we can bring this back. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you play her to get the Nexus damage twice, so I can attack a, a follower with a uh, with Darkness, and I'll do the same amount of damage to the Nexus. But right now, all I'm worried about is surviving. And if I didn't play her this turn, they would have ended next turn. So I'm not going to be attacking this turn with my with anything because it'll just end at next turn. So I'm just I'm keeping her there purely to block against something next turn to give me enough health to survive. Before you're like that was an inefficient play rezone. Like no, oh jeez. Hmm. Oh, I see we're dying. He might just go for a full throttle attack, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. A conchologist? Oh, right. Abs right, we're going to go for Absorb Soul. We're going to use Absorb Soul, Drain 4 from an ally, so that means we're going to go back up to... We're going to go back up to 4 health. Regardless, you know, I can potentially defend with my 4 5, use that. Okay, we can Darkness Poppy. It's all coming to plan, boys, it's all coming to plan. Fake our levels up. Good shit. So, we're going to big brain this. And then we're going to end next turn. Or the turn after, we'll say. So, we're going to heal up for... Yeah. We're just going to drain... It doesn't matter if I drain for my 3 tier or 2 tier. It really, it really doesn't matter. So we're back up to 7 health. This is good. This is good. 
our Darkness Knight does 8 damage. And if we block with my 4-3, we'll again heal back up. 4. So 8 damage of Darkness brings him straight down to 12. Bada bing. Uh, Wither and Mist. Drain 2 from his 1-1 one, one elusive. And one of his 2-1s. Oh, well, we just attack first, actually. I want him to throw away his Fey Folk. This is unbelievable. We might actually win this. Then we heal up. His 1-1 one, one is dead. His 2-1 is dead. And now we're back up to 15. <laughs> From the brink of death. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Oh, we win. We win. We win. We win. Darkness his nexus. Then we're going to get another darkness down. Right after this. We're going to play dark bulb. And we're just going to darkness again. Oh my god, nobody lets me kill the Nexus. If you guys enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. I'd appreciate it. If you're new here, subscribe. Welcome to the community. Thanks for watching the video. But until next time, bro, take it easy. Peace out. And good luck on the rift.